Thank you very much, Nika. Well, of course, it is April, and uh, I want to share a very specific day, April 28, 1881. It is shrouded in legend and lore here in New Mexico. It is the day that Billy the Kid reportedly made a daring escape from the Lincoln County Jail, killing two deputies and starting his third and final act as one of the West's most storied outlaws. Since we're coming up on that anniversary, I thought that I would take you back to Lincoln for more on what really happened. There are few tall tales of the Old West as fascinating as those surrounding Billy the Kid. We know he was born William H. Bonney. We know he spent time in New Mexico. And we know he is at least in part responsible for the murder of Sheriff Brady. By the time he got up into this room, he was in big trouble. Mm -hmm. He had been arrested for the murder of Sheriff Brady, for the shooting of Sheriff Brady. He had been taken to Mesilla and tried, and then taken to Santa Fe, then brought here and sentenced to hang. He was sentenced to hang here in Lincoln. Wow. He was kept up here in the corner of this room, mm -hmm. uh, in this corner right here where the white line is, okay. and uh, he was waiting to hang. So Deputy Bell was guarding him. Uh, Billy was considered too dangerous to be with the other prisoners. Deputy Ollinger had the rest of the prisoners across the street at the Wortley Hotel feeding them dinner. So Billy says that he has to go to the outhouse. Outhouse is out and back. Deputy Bell takes him out there, and then where the stories diverge, there's always multiple stories where Billy the Kid is concerned. And so some people say there was a gun planted in the outhouse already, that a friend did that for Billy. Other stories say that he actually came up, he grabbed Ollinger's, or Deputy Bell's gun and hit him over the head with his handcuffs and they scuffled at the top of the stairs and then he shot Ollinger in the side. Ollinger staggers down the stairs and out the door and into the backyard, or Deputy Bell. <laughs> Okay. Then Deputy Ollinger is over there feeding the prisoners. He hears the gunshot. He runs across the street and he says, it's Billy, he shot Bell. And Billy looks out the window and he says, hello, Bob. And shoots Deputy Ollinger with his own gun. As popular story goes, Billy stayed on the run from the law until he was ultimately gunned down by Sheriff Pat Garrett a few short months later in the home of Pete Maxwell in the wee hours of July 14, 1881. Why do you think Billy the Kid has such staying power? I mean, not just in New Mexico, but worldwide. You go to Poland, you oh, go yeah. anywhere in the world, they know the name Billy the Kid. And that's Why what surprised so? me when I came to work here is all these people from yeah. all over the world who come and want to know about Billy the Kid. It's the movies, first of all. Okay. That's how people know about it. But we have a fascination, we humans, uh, with that archetype of the, the hero outlaw, you know, the, the free spirit standing up against impossible odds. You know, we still make movies, a lot of movies have that same theme. So we as humans have a fascination. We maybe admire those people or wish we were those people. Right. But that character still stands out for us right. today. The facts, the myths, and the legends of Billy the Kid can be explored daily through the carefully preserved town of Lincoln, just a short drive from Albuquerque. For more information, mosey over to casa.com and explore history where it happened.